your understanding of yourself, of your life, of what you're doing, it's just changing, changing rapidly. You're changing the last year, especially in the last few months. It's just like quicker, 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 quicker. And your ability to hold opposing beliefs is, and, and honoring all aspects of these different kind of things. And you're getting to this higher octave of yourself, right? But it's really freaking ungrounding. Your, there's something, it's like your physicality, your energy, your consciousness is all shifting gears to, to yet again, get into this higher version of yourself but you're in that moment of it shifting and it's so unbalancing and it's having you question like a lot and it's having you know what am i even doing with my life what is this what am i do what's going on here and like you're being asked to one understand that you're in the midst of yet another freaking shift and that there, the uncertainty and the ungroundedness is normal, but it's really important to do anything that is grounding for you. If you need to hang out with some old friends or family, if you need to just slow down and watch like a stupid comedy movie, if you need to, you know, also drinking a lot of water. Water is really, really um, important in this change in your body. But, um, the, this kind of moment is re, it's like you're recalibrating, you're readjusting into this higher octave and some things are coming up that are kind of those, but they're quicker, the fallback moments, the trigger moments, the things that are like um, opposing your new kind of, idea of yourself right you're stepping into this this you're claiming and having this authority over this is who i freaking am and yet there's some things outside of you that are like but what but but and you're just being asked to understand that is only echoes of old beliefs in you that are asking you to feel like feel that that thing makes you really scared because it it got it has to get out it doesn't mean believe it it means you're having having these different relationships with like honoring that this thing has been in your body for years and decades and it's time to release this this thing that you've been holding on to because you've been claiming no i am this thing and there's these last little parts that are like um i'm still in you and i still have this belief and the only way through is through me so you got to feel me but not believe me all right that's some warrior style ability of consciousness to feel it to allow yourself to process it, to cry through it, to get angry through it, to whatever, and just realize I have to feel this story without believing what it's telling me. And you're gonna start shifting and getting out of these things like quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And it's like a, a bit of a superhuman power that you're stepping into with this one because it means that your triggers aren't gonna be so like afflicting you in the way that they have in the past. So, hey, I'm Carl Elizabeth, the author, illustrator, and creator of Animal Apothecary Card Deck, which we'll be using. It's for manifesting and healing, sold on Amazon everywhere. I'm also using my body tech deck, which I'm still in the middle of creating. So sign up for my email list to be notified when it drops. And also my next workshop, I am the power. It is September 21st, fall equinox eve. So we're colliding this powerful energy of the equinox because it is a powerful moment. All these equinox season change are really powerful. So we're harnessing that energy and colliding it 
with body tech, which is using your, your body and movements to manifest, heal, to transmute. We are using animal ma manifesting, which is using the medicine and wisdom and symbology and characteristics of animals to get into our most powerful self. We're using voice medicine, sound, movement. It's just like, it's gonna be awesome. It's virtual, it's in person too in New York City at Rama. Tickets below. Promo code for my friends out there is POWER. It will be freaking awesome. And virtual people, it doesn't matter where you live, you can watch it at any time if the time doesn't work for you. Okay, so this is just, just a quick, a quick. I think because there's um, so much growth and feeling maybe dis, dis stable, unstable, there's this uncertainty happening right now and, and it's fine, it's just a part of it because we're going into this unknown version of ourself. We're, we're coming out of who we have been identifying with for so long. And like, it's painful and uplifting at the same time. You see these opposing things are happening all, and it's so wobbly. So um, just whatever that uncertainty wants to share. Take a big deep breath in, another deep breath in. Okay, the fallback. We're having these little moments of like old beliefs coming at us really hard and making us kind of, oh, I just had this thought to, to tell you that something's coming up that's making you question what you're doing it's because you know like you have these ideas and this idea of what you want to manifest and purpose but then you're like what am i even like what is even going on what am i even doing why the what what is actually the purpose behind it? that's really important that's really good it's saying that because you're getting to a deeper level of understanding and you have to question what you're doing even though you thought this whole time like well wait that was the that was what i was trying to do but why am i questioning it now why does it feel no you're going deeper into understanding why you've been going towards this thing so whatever that was that just needed to be shared but these fallback moments these little moments where you're seemingly forgetting or you're just getting triggered and you're being asked to feel the story to release the story but don't believe the story which is warrior consciousness level samurai consciousness okay um so whatever the fallback wants to share so now if you could just say whatever you're saying you are and claiming it say it say it i'm here to uplift people i am here to uplift people i am here i want you to say whatever you're saying this is what i'm saying i'm here to uplift people i am here to uplift people i'm here to uplift myself i'm here to uplift myself i'm here to uplift people i am here to uplift people just keep saying over and over and over again what you are freaking here for own it say it claim it and then what our body I just want you to see yourself like, oh, like, oh, like I'm thinking of the thing and giving you the thing without telling you what the thing is. Think of yourself on, what is it? Also, words are not coming to me today, like all day long. I'm like, what's the word for what? Um, the balancing act thing, the, the string people walk on, put it in the comments below. We all know what it is. Um, so this is such a reflection of my imbalance in this. I'm like, I, I don't know words. Um, okay, that wobbly, what our body wants us to know about that, like, ooh, I need to get grounded. Our fallback. So think of, think of yourself just like your body just falling back to then catapult up. So the fallback to catapult up what our body wants to share. 
And then again, just say whatever you're claiming right now, what you're here for, what are you here for? I'm also here, like, I want I love, like I'm here for love, I'm here for love. I am love, I am love, I am freaking love, I am love, we are love. Whatever your I am, whatever your body wants to embody, God, love, I wanna embody love. I mean, we are all love, right? It's just like whether you are in alignment with it or not, but regardless, it's still love. Let's see what we got. I love it. I freaking love it. Um, so your uncertainty is talking about like you're almost through whatever level this is that you're at. So this is like the beautiful, annoying story of how the little fox had to go through all this like tests and trials and like feeling like he was almost to his heart's deepest desire and then not and then always almost there and then not and then it was almost there again and then he wasn't and then he was almost there and then he wasn't and then he forsaken life and thought like this is just one big joke i'm never gonna get to my purpose i'm never gonna get to this thing that i'm not even really sure what the thing is but i know because everything in my heart says that that thing is where i'm meant to be and i'm supposed to be one with that thing but like no matter how hard i try i'm never there so there's something about you have been i mean this isn't really a part of the story but there's something that's coming to me right there that like it's just like you were always it's always been there it's always been right there it's just this like illusion of you thinking you were separate from it that was keeping you from it this is actually not the story of the card but this is what's coming to me that this is like you were always almost never there because you kept thinking you were separate from that thing. And it was about realizing that the thing that you've been seeking and yearning for is within you freaking right now and claiming that and see the thing, the, the what your body wants to share about that, this is the most auspicious card in the body tech deck that says create all of it. So what she has the world inside of her where it's in her, but she's also giving birth to it, but she's also receiving it at the same time. She's creating it, giving it, receiving it, but it's already just within her. So there's something about your uncertainty is is asking you to get freaking certain about what this thing is what is this world like get like what is this thing you're creating um that okay fine it was this moment of wobble wobbliness and the stories came up and like but like getting your 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 medicine to uncertainty is getting certain reassure yourself re the the get recertain again about whatever it is you're doing and that nothing outside of you i don't care what has happened to you is going to tell you how it is you tell it how it is it doesn't get to dictate you you get to dictate you you don't get to tell me what i am or what i do i tell me and i don't get to tell you you tell you so re getting into that certainty and then what our fallback is asking us to understand um that so this the body tech deck shut it down before it brings you down and then it's like you know fear worry doubt so there's something about you're having to get really sharp and quick with telling those stories screw you whatever it doesn't mean that we don't allow it to process through it but it's about having this boundary with knowing it's a story with knowing that you don't get to tell me so we're doing this just like i said this thing there's like you don't get to tell me what i am i am certain about what i am and i am claiming this and i am this thing but also with your thoughts and like you know fine i have to feel this it's just like that outside circumstances. It doesn't mean those things aren't happening. It doesn't mean those things don't suck. It doesn't mean we don't feel those things. We're a freaking human. Of course, we're gonna feel all of these things. 
but like it doesn't get to tell me who I am anymore. It doesn't get to tell, it doesn't get to tell me a story about myself that makes me feel less than anymore. And then what the an animal apothecary card, so the fallback from, from our little mole friend is about you're at, being asked to just trust that there is something you cannot see right now, right? Because moles, they're basically almost blind, almost deaf. Om they can barely smell. They just get through by feeling vibration. So you're something right now is you're just kind of getting through without having like a, 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 a visual auditory kind of like your all your senses aren't fully like there yet with what this thing is, but you've been um there is something about because we see this sapling that there's this next stage of yourself and sapling is a fragile stage but it's easily um malleable so the sapling has to get kind of stepped on and then it's like so you've come right back and there's um, something beautiful about that. You're not really rigid in whatever. You're moldable, you're adaptable. And that's why it's really important for you to have your putting the story on these things um, and your claiming and you're saying stop to anything that is not uplifting and empowering you. Your I am, I love this because this is the freaking I am card assurance, which at first when I created it was your f future self. And we can use this too, but I'm over future self because I'm like, no, I am her now. Mm. Um, the, the original was that this is your future self coming to you being like, we freaking did it. And then you make the, the sign, we did it, the assurance. And then by aligning with the movement of your future self, then you are embodying the future self, which is like the I am. So it still kind of works, but I just, I'm just so over everything being in the future because everything for me was always this idea of it in the future. And like, finally I caught up to that future in the last few months and I am her and screw a future. I'm so done with that. I'm just like, no, I'm it now. I don't care if I don't see it. I'm just like so over some feeling that I just live by with, you know, one that, you know, whatever. It's funny how much you can like teach whatever and you kind of get it, but you don't really get it till you get it. No, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, this is also um, your prayer is answered. So before this card went into pr 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 production, it said act as if your prayer is answered. Um, so that is the original intent of this card is to act as if your prayer has been answered. Act as if, you know, that your heart's deepest desire is already like you answer your own prayer. You align with the great mystery. You're praying, you're asking. And the last freaking step is now act as if your prayer has been answered. Trust that it's coming for you, right? Like you're being asked, there's something like just trust this. Um, and I just, a little bit more on trust. Like what are, what are we being asked to trust? and it always freaking comes down to this, the foundation. Um, I don't know, if, I have to like think about what, cause I was like, what are we trusting? But I think for me with this card in the last few months of this, just coming back to your foundation of your self-worth, your self-love, your self-respect, your self-value, and that this is the foundation like it's just popping out because this is the foundation for whatever your I am's are is knowing that you are so valuable and you are so worthy and that you are allowed to experience whatever you want in this life and having this deep um, love for yourself. But just kind of going back to trust, like what, 
helping all of us have trust on this journey. Claim your freaking power. So this is just knowing that this isn't even, it's almost like your ability, and this is what my entire freaking workshop, remember info below, it is the I am the power workshop. This is about the power over your thoughts. And this is how your true power, and you know, pow you're so powerful that you can create whatever you want. But if you're not having power and dominion over your thoughts, then they are bringing you to some weird freaking places. And the more that you are expanding, my friend, be careful because the more um, your container opens to understand everything, right? The bigger you're getting, the higher kind of octave allows you to tap into more. And there's a lot more good and there's a lot more weirdness too. It's that whole dichotomy, right? So this is about having this power over your thoughts and which we'll be going through on this journey of how are we having power and, and directing our thoughts to lead us to what we want as, as opposed to letting them tell us what we are. Because so many, we are having thousands of thoughts per second and guess what? Most of those aren't yours. We live in this ether of, of thought forms just everywhere. Billions of people on earth are having thoughts and we're all connected, we're all one, we get that. So guess what, everyone's thoughts. And then we're even more with the like, you know, our social media and just being like thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. So this is about this like um, really having this, okay, so I'm like, again, what does this have to do with trust? Um, Okay, so the foundation is your self-worth and then we need to have the power over our thoughts, right? We start with loving ourselves. We start with seeing how powerful, uh, sorry, how valuable we are. Then we start, so this is like stages. Then we start with directing our thoughts. I'm still asking trust, like what else do you wanna share with us? I think the thing, I don't know why I'm like, but what do you want us to trust? Okay. It's, what we don't want to trust is some stupid story that is telling us that we need to be like, whatever you're scared of is not freaking real. Whatever is making you feel not good enough, whatever is making you question if you should do that thing that's been in your heart's deepest desire for so long, it's some weird thing that you came up with some story to protect you and your defense mechanisms are coming up, telling you weird stories to keep you in an old limited space. I love you, trust, but what do you want us to trust? These two came out. You are about to shine and action leads to success. So we're gonna, there's some kind of this, you are about to shine knowing, okay, finally, I feel like trust you're like, answer, well, like you did answer it. Like you told us like some things we need to know that we need to have a foundation of, of being in love with ourselves and seeing how freaking valuable we are, which I do a whole self explosion workshop premiering the pig. You can look at my past workshops. Um, it is something virtual you can watch now. Um, we have to get power over our thoughts, which you should definitely come to my I am the power workshop. And then we have to know that there's these defense mechanisms, these old stories coming up that are lies that are trying to keep us in the old self. But trust is sharing with us, you are about to freaking shine. You are about to shine so hard and that you're having this moment where you need to go inward and cultivate your own light because there's some kind of light that you're gonna be sharing in a big freaking way. But if you don't focus on, right? Cause it's so like the uncertainty, the fallback, the ugh, like an unstableness, like you need to get grounded. That's the only thing you need to think about. You don't need to kind of like worry about this bigger picture thing. All your focus is on is needs to be this like, um, 
you kind of re-energizing yourself, you getting yourself back to where you feel grounded, where you feel empowered, and then um, this, you're being, it, it, it's like a part of this thing that's leading you to this success that is the thing that is your heart's deepest desire. And that also, there is something about whatever it is that you're here to share, it is not just about you. And it might feel like that, but it is something that is meant to share. And it is a part of like, it's like you're a cell in a body and like you got your own life going on. But if you don't do what you are created to do, you're going to jack up the entire human system in the body, which is you in relation to humanity, the human family. There is something you were created to do that if you blow it and you don't share this gift, you're actually, you know, you're not really helping humanity or the, the oneness of the human body. There is something important that you were created to share that is a, a requirement. It is a part, it's like the cell function. Like we need you, man. We need you to do this thing. And because of that, whatever system you have around you, system meaning your guides, your, um, and you know, whatever you want to call it because you guys have 15,000 different words like some of you are like my angels or like my palladian friends or you know my stardust or whatever i don't care you're all talking about the same thing and you all are coming and there's some kind of you know your guy there's something around you that is like um is like supporting you unknown known energies whatever but it is here and if you venture into sharing this thing there is something hot, that is so supportive around you i don't know what that is it is something some life force energy is is so got your back in this to help facilitate this high self whatever whatever you want to call it Anyways, I love you guys, um, and uh, I just one more for the road. Just think about what you're grateful right now. Just start spewing out all the things you're grateful for. Just get into that gear. I love you, world peace forever, and definitely check out my I Am The Power workshop. It will be like something you've never done before because that's how I do it. World peace forever. Think about what you're grateful for.